Hi, I'm Nick Schimmick, Pioneer Field Agronomist in Northeast Wisconsin. Well, as the calendar is turning to September, many of the growers in this area are getting ramped up for winter wheat planting. Behind me is a cornfield that's going to be harvested for silage in a couple weeks, and then after that the growers prepare to put in some winter wheat. So what I want to do is go over some tips and some reminders as we're getting prepared for winter wheat planting. There's three things that I want to touch on, first of which is seeding rate, date, and depth. The second is fertility, especially phosphorus and potassium, and the third of which is variety selection. So let's start with seeding depth. We should shoot for that target seeding depth of roughly one to one and a half inches. Any deeper than that, and we can have troubles with the emergence. Any shallower than that, and that crown or that seed may be exposed to cold temperatures this winter. So that one to one and a half inch seeding depth really will give us the best chance to get that seed set up going into the winter. We want to shoot for a targeted seeding date in Northeast Wisconsin between September 15th and October 15th. The University of Wisconsin puts out a great table suggesting what seeding rates to use as we get, depending on what your planting date is um, during that year. As we get later in the growing season, you'll notice that that um, seeding rate or that plants per acre that we want to shoot for increases incrementally. The reason for this is because we have less opportunity for tillering as we get planting later in the growing season. Therefore, by putting out more seeds, we can compensate for some of those tillers that we may have lost if we were able to get the seed in the ground earlier. We also want to shoot for a seeding rate of roughly 1.5 to 2 point, or 1.3 to 1.7 um, million seeds per acre if we're able to seed in that end part of September. As we get into the first part of October, this increases to about 1.7 to 2.2 million seeds per acre. The other thing I want to note as we're getting right, or as you're putting out, or as you're planning your seeding rate, is how many seeds per pound you have. Um, a bigger seed size will mean that you'll have less seeds per pound. And this can change between varieties and lots. So ensuring that you know what your seeds per pound are can help you make sure that you get the correct um, and the ideal plants per acre out there that you want to target. Second, I want to touch on fertility, especially phosphorus and potassium. These are both very important for cell division as, as well as water or transport of water, nutrients, and carbohydrates. So making sure that we have adequate phosphorus and potassium can make sure that that crown is best set up to go and overwinter, um, go and overwinter going into next year. A good way to do this is to soil sample this fall and find out what these levels are. You have a lower or medium level, then a nutrient uh, application of both P and K may be necessary. Lastly, I want to touch on is variety selection. First and foremost, make sure that you're using certified seed that is disease free as well as weed seed free. Then of course you want to start looking at what are the other variety characteristics. Yield is important, but also other agronomic characteristics such as lodging potential um, and disease tolerance to leaf rust, stripe rust, or museum head blight. This can help you determine what that crop may be vulnerable to going into the spring and summer of 2020. So these are the three things I wanted to touch on. Um, just to review, one, we want to try to shoot for a targeted seeding date between September 15th and October 15th to get a, get a seeding depth of one to one and a half inches. We want to make sure they have adequate P and K out there to make sure that that crown is set up going into this winter. And lastly, you want to see what you want to choose the correct variety that is best for your management practices, and know what that variety may be vulnerable to or strong against as we go into next year. Good luck and be safe this planting season. And if you have any questions, please contact your nearest Pioneer sales professional. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on Pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.